So the fatty acids, especially those that come from the uh, uh, diet, uh, have the potential to be somewhat toxic to many organs of the system. For example, we have indications from experimental uh, uh, experiments in humans as well as animals that might be toxic for the beta cell, for example, uh, and to reduce or attenuate the uh, glucose-induced insulin secretion. We have also uh, documentation of a possible effect in the heart uh, whereby it may reduce the capacity, uh, the functional capacity of the ventricles uh, and change the metabolism of the, the heart. Uh, the liver is the same, the, the skeletal muscle is the same. So, so the adipose tissue may act as a buffer to reduce the flux, the overall flux of dietary fat to the lean organs and thereby reduce a little bit or somewhat the, the risk of developing insulin resistance and the other complications associated with insulin resistance. Uh, to state that there's uh, absolute proof that this effect of adipose tissue, uh, protecting effect of adipose tissue is the key uh, 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 to the anti-diabetic effect of having a uh, LT adipose tissue, uh, we don't have yet the, the, the response to that. But our results point out to uh, at least an association between the phenomena. And we think from some experiments that this is probably an imp of importance. But to what extent it explains uh, the overall pathophysiology associated with type 2 diabetes, that's another matter.